The Sharp Edge on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Mazek Seeds. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to a new season of The Sharp Edge. Today, I'm down near Simcoe, Ontario, catching up with Mazix agronomist Henry Prince. And Henry, how's it going? It's going great, Bern. We're really excited for another season of The Sharp Edge. We are back at it, and today, we are going to talk sulfur on soybeans with grower Kyle Souden. Henry, why is Kyle on The Sharp Edge, and why are we talking sulfur in a cornfield in April? Yeah, so Bern, you know, we're talking about Kyle Souden because Kyle's starting to you know, think about sulfur a little bit differently here. You know, he's doing his corn, he's doing his wheat, but now he's thinking about doing his beans and he's going all in this year on his light soils. He's going to be putting AMS on all of it, ready to get that next yield level out of the beans. So, you know, we're out here in April because we've seen, we've done some research. Mazix has done a lot of research and, you know, we kind of followed up some research from Sean Castile at Purdue University and we're seeing, you know, early sulfur applications broadcast pre-plant or right after planting and even with earlier planting is sometimes giving us a really big bang and some yield bump on our soybean crop. Awesome. Hey, and we're going to dig more into that Mazix research, but first let's hear more about what Kyle's doing with sulfur on his farm. So Kyle, you know, we've been working together for a while now, ever since I've been at Mazix and uh, can you tell me a little bit about, you know, just your normal everyday practices with sulfur on your crops? Um, we've started out using sulfur in our corn starter fertilizer. Um, we moved on after we seen a benefit from it. We did start adding it to our wide drop pass on our corn and we also added it to our wheat. We were having some issues um, with wheat yields and we found uh, adding the sulfur we have no problems pushing over 100 bushel wheat. Um, in our corn you can see it in the yield, you can see it in the color of the corn um, and it's working very well for us. So last year, you know, we lined up some trials with you guys, right? We did some small plot research with Mazex down the road. What did you guys actually see from some of our sulfur trials there? You could see the difference in the trials right from the road. Um, the size, the color of the beans, um, they just stood out. Um, even my uncle going by, he asked us what was going on with the, with the soybeans in that trial. Yeah, so we're pretty excited about that, right? So what's your kind of plan this year with sulfur on your guys' beans? So on the low C, C sands, um, 10 and unders, we are going to be adding 100 pounds of AMS with our potash spread early in the spring. Um, we see in the benefit from the trials that it is 100% um, worth it for us to go in with sulfur. Um, it's needed and we're also gonna work on our corn ground with the same, with the same procedure. So there you have it. Now, Kyle is going to work on some soybeans and sulfur this year. You did a lot of work last year, did some trials. Tell us about them. How were they set up and what did you learn? Yeah, so Bern, we did about five trials in Ontario last year. We did them all the way into Quebec too, actually. Mm -hmm. And we had one right here on Kyle Soudan's farm. And we set up uh, five treatments, a control, a AMS alone, ammonium sulfate, 100 pounds of it, uh, AMS plus a fungicide, and then... Uh, AMS plus a fungicide plus pure yield, so that's a uh, ESN, a slow, slow release urea. And what about the results? What did you see? Yeah, so we saw some great results. We saw, you know, at the responsive sites, we saw about six bushels to AMS. For the full package where we combined the treatments together, we added the nitrogen and we added a fungicide. We actually had about a 12 bushel response on those responsive sites. Yeah. Three of them being responsive, two were not as responsive. Now what's unique about those three responsive sites? Yeah, so Bern, I think our responsive sites, we're looking at these lower CEC soils. They're probably sands, but they're not always sands. We had some, you know, mid-texture soils that did respond, but those really heavy clays and heavy loams, we didn't see anything this year, so we're going to keep, you know, working through that as we go. So Henry, let's talk about this research through the season. Um, and tissue testing, what does that fit? Yeah, so Burn, what we did see, you know, we're visually seeing these blocks respond. So again, protocol from Sean Castile at Purdue said at R3, you know, little pin beans, we're gonna take the newest full trifoliate, and we're gonna send it to the lab, and we're gonna look at the nitrogen to sulfur concentrations. So that nitrogen to sulfur ratio is key. And what we did see this year, you know, 18 to one is what Sean kind of said is our guideline. If we're above that, we need sulfur, we need more sulfur. If we're below that, we're probably fine. 
Our sites that responded were above that ratio. Our sites that didn't respond were below that ratio. So that gives us a great idea or a protocol even for a grower that's like, I'm not willing to go spend the money on sulfur this year, but I wanna go out and check my field. So at R3, go out, tissue test, let's look at that ratio. If it's there, next year we better be putting sulfur on. Yeah, and you're gonna be doing some work on nitrogen and sulfur, right? Yeah, so that's really exciting. We did change the protocol a bit this year. We expanded it. We're actually gonna look at some new sulfur sources. We're gonna look at polysulfate. We're gonna use calcium sulfate, gypsum, so no nitrogen. And then we're gonna look at AMS again because it's been working well for us. And we're gonna look at you know, our stack treatment, but also a treatment of just pure yield. So just that slow release nitrogen to make sure that maybe this soil it's not the nitrogen portion giving us that bump yeah. now you're gonna have some more results at the end of this year but hey it's april we're standing in some some corn trash here there's gonna be some soybeans going in here what's your general takeaways for growers as they head out to the, the plant this spring when it comes to sulfur yeah so i think if you're on those light soils burn you know we know we're on those sands and you guys know who you are right you're the guys putting 20 more pounds of sulfur on your corn and you know what those sites maybe it's time to put some sulfur on our beans and if you're not sure and you're you want to learn more you know you can talk to someone from us you can you can talk to your local agronomist and you know or just go out and tissue test and then let you'll find out yourself right well great stuff henry um always great to have you here on the sharp edge we'll see you a little later in the season sounds good burn thanks